What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be watching a little episode from the dating show, The Button. And here's how The Button works. You get two people, they've never met each other, and they're going on a first date. The second somebody gets a feeling of maybe some ick, they can just boom eliminate them. New person comes in and another first date begins. It's an amazing dating show. This one is called Girl Almost Destroys the Button. One of Adrian's deal breakers oh. is someone who doesn't have a J-O-B. Yeah, someone who doesn't have a job. Is I don't have a job. You don't have a job? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. She's like, no, I don't, I don't really have a job. Oh, you're rejecting me? <laughs> I, I don't know, I feel like that's fair. If you don't have a job, how are you gonna pay for dates? Like, let's keep going. Welcome to The Button, a speed dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, they win an all expenses paid second date. This is The Button. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> they got uh, Buzz Aldrin here. He just landed from the moon. He's like, hey, I'm out of this world. Boom. Nice to meet you. My name's Joaquin. Nice to meet you. My name's Amy. Amy? Yes. Yeah, where are you from, Amy? He better be a real astronaut. You can't have a helmet while introducing yourself and then be like, oh yeah, no, I'm not actually an astronaut. I just felt like leaving the house like this. I am from Queen Anne. I don't know what Queen Anne is. I'm sorry. We are currently in Queen Anne. Okay, right cool. <laughs> This guy's not doing so hot. This guy is so disoriented. Oh, we're in Queen Anne right now? I, I thought this was space. My fault. Why why the space suit? Why the astronaut? A lot of people are, are interested in outer space, and I'm interested in inner space. Okay, tell um, me more. People look, they see space and the stars, and they see all this stuff, and they're like really turned on by it, and I'm kind of disgusted by the negligence of outer, uh, the use of money for outer space. Ah. Uh. Strike one was the helmet intro. Strike two was not knowing where he was in the moment. And then strike three is whatever the heck he's talking about right now. That's just. How's your weekend been so far? I've been pretty good. I celebrated my friend, best friend's birthday yesterday. Oh, uh, Taurus? Yes. Okay. Yes. I saw a murder last night. Okay. Or oh, attempted murder. I was filming a video in California and I saw a man get shot in the neck. Who is this man? That man's not real. There is no way this guy is real. Where's the cut finding these people? This is not first date conversation. Yeah. I think she's weirded out by me. You think? So why did you press on me? I immediately, I knew you were not interested. Right <laughs> off. That's messed up. He, sh he should have just, out of respect for how weird he was, just been like, hey, I was being a little too wacky, a little too silly. I deserve to just get rejected. <laughs> Can't believe he hit the button first. Just because you thought that I wasn't interested, that's why you didn't want to continue conversation? Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to get married and have like 100 kids, so like, why waste each other's time? Right? I respect that. Like, I hope you have fun on your next date. Thank day. you. Oh. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. What yeah. was your name? Ida. Ida, Joaquin, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you each other's type? Eh, you can say no, it's okay. I know, yeah, you're not my type okay. off of like first looks. Uh, the button's kind of sabotaging right now. Is, is this astronaut, astronaut man, man your type? type? Because who's sitting here like, oh no, actually, yes, I quite do enjoy astronaut men. I this type is someone funny, confident, and not afraid to show emotions. Does hmm. that describe you, Joaquin? So well into like the extreme aspects. If like I'm heavily invested in someone, like if I'm actually seeking to build a future with them, like I, I give them all of me. How soon do you give all of you? That's what I'm struggling with. That's oh, what I'm struggling with. Oh, you like very soon? Uh, I'd yeah, I'd say probably. I'd say it's yeah, love bombing, but not yeah. but not from oh, a place okay. of. <laughs> Oh, I don't know how you can make love bombing sound good. That's a pretty big red flag for like a lot of people. Why did you not want to go on a date with me? Like you said, you love hard. Mm -hmm. I don't want to break anyone's heart because I'm not at that point right now. Okay. They weren't going to make it work, honestly. I think that was a good call. Nice no, what's your you. name? I'm Ida. I'm Dominique. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So how are you? I'm 26, how old are you? I'm 32. What are you two looking for in a relationship right okay. now? I'm a, I'm a tender person, man. I need somebody to be tender with me, man. I used to be out in the streets. I thought for a second he was gonna be like, kind of a tender person. As in I go on Tinder a lot, I'm actively dating, and if we were to date together, I'd still be on Tinder. Yeah, what about you? So I want someone same as you, like kind of like 
caring, but also like grow together. Just don't yeah. be on your sex mm -hmm. shit. If you're in a predicament where you're trying, mm -hmm. that's not, I will never jump that. Mm -hmm. But if you're a person who chooses to sit on your ass, mm -hmm. no, get up off your ass, do some shit. Mm -hmm. You can find other jobs, like, you know, mm -hmm. like work through it. Go ahead, that's fine. And that's not, that's, and I'll tell you why I did it. I think that you have to come to a term of forgiving people for not being their best selves. And that's oh, not me people. thinking you haven't. Aida, was that surprising? Yeah, yeah, I kind of liked you a little bit. Anyways, oh, nice to meet you. you. Bye. I was shipping them, but he he was smooth with it. He was like, mm, I think I'm gonna just maybe the next person, you know? Dominique. Nice to meet you. Yeah, that's it. Time out. What was your name again? Yaya. Yaya. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Question for you is Yaya. Yo, do we go together? Yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> Good one, me. Okay, back to the video. What is like your ideal first date? It's not this. <laughs> no. Uh, mine would be, uh, I like the water. I like to look at the water. Do you wakeboard or wake surf or? Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just like would to you, like- Would you try it? it? I would, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. I'm down to bust my ass. Ah, dude, he kind of reminds me of Ken from Barbie. He's like, yeah. I like beach. He, do, he doesn't surf, he doesn't waterboard, probably doesn't lifeguard, he just beaches. I don't know what the box wants to say it, but I don't really like city girls. City girls, okay. Yeah, I think like the stipulations that come along with that is, is kind of dumb. Like a New York city girl? Like, no. No? Like, what, okay, so what do you mean? You, so uh, yeah, city so girls, yeah, city girls kind of like, uh, fly me out, do this, do this, do this. Like, Wait, I'm sorry, that, why Why is that a city girl? Like, it's not that, not just that, let me finish. Okay. Uh, like, the intention is not to actually get to know. You just have this standard that is not an understanding. Okay. Oh, that's awkward. That's awkward. I was trying to see, like, where the interaction was gonna go. But I, I don't know, I think she was debating. She was like, kind of feeling like a city girl right now. I don't know. <laughs> Like, I don't know, I think she was, she considered the fact that maybe she wanted to be flown out. Sucks though, that they didn't work out. Can't blame them, can't blame them at all. It was odd. That was really weird, I didn't like that. <laughs> Button's like, right, yeah, yeah, that, that guy was, was a weirdo. weirdo. Beep, boop, bop. <laughs> I'm Yaya, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. Yo, this man's got the grills. He has got the gold teeth. And look, she's got gold bracelets on. They go together. I feel like this is the one that's gonna, gonna click. So Adrian says the only reason not to date him is the size of his apartment. Apartment. They set him up, bro. They set him up. Like I thought for a second he was gonna be like, yeah, you know, man, I'm really packing a lot packing a lot of heat over here and it might be too much for some people, you know, hey. Like I thought they were hyping Adrian up, but nope, they were piping him down. I think his apartment's too tiny. My apartment is 270 square feet. It's a little small, bed's a twin, but uh, you know. Hold on, I gotta, I'm, I'm gonna look this up actually. So this is 270 uh, square foot apparently. That's, it's, it's livable. Like, okay, let's not get it wrong. That is a really tiny living space, but it's not that bad. It's better than a college dorm. You have a bathroom? Yes, and I have in-unit washer dryer, have a stove, everything. Wow. And I have 70 pairs of shoes in there, so. Now I'm gonna make a prediction because, you know, I'm omnipotent, but the fact that she might like the idea of being flown out someplace or like getting treated or spoiled, the idea of a smaller living space, my guess is that she's gonna be like, that's a little too small for me, sorry. <laughs> Next. Maybe not, maybe they can actually make this work. I hope so, because these guys, they're golden. Have you been dating? Like, are you a serial dater? <laughs> Gosh, that was like a cowboy Western film. So, are you casually dating? <laughs> oh, wasted no time rejecting each other. You two went hard. Tell each other. Tell me. <laughs> Why? I wasn't giving you the vibe. I just, it just wasn't there. It was his grills. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. it was nice meeting nice you. Nice meeting you. What's wrong with his grills? I like his grills. Adrian. Nice Adrian. To meet you. What's your name? Jalian. It's like Alien with the J, right? Yes. That's such a cool name. I feel like her and the spaceman would have really gone together well. I'm a inner space astronaut and she's a Jalian. They would, they go perfect. Yeah. What's your job? Your job <laughs> yeah. that you have the grill? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I work at Geico. I'm like a oh, claims trainer. Oh, so you could teach me. 
That's actually really cool. He works at Geico. I wonder what he whispers in people's ears. Like he'll go on their second date and he'll be like, you trying to hook up later? Cause I could hook you up with 15% or more on car insurance. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Teacher about insurance in a sexy voice. Oh my. In okay. a sexy voice. Oh, see, Maybe they beat me. <laughs> They're doing the bit I just did. I should have just let it play out. Whatever. Scenario, someone get hit by a car. Now what? Someone call you, hey, someone hit my car. What do I do? What's the next step? Dang, okay, I'd be like, damn, someone hit your car. I, I really just don't have a sexy voice. <laughs> Yo, he tried to lay the Riz on, it just didn't work. L Riz. What? If it was me and I was selling insurance and I just had to spit some Riz at somebody, I'd be like, dang, looks like somebody hit your bumper. <laughs> I'm trying to hit your bumper too, what's up? <laughs> that's uncomfortable. I know that that's really weird. We're gonna move on to the next bit. One of Adrian's deal breakers oh. is someone who doesn't have a J-O-B. Yeah, someone who doesn't have a job is gone. You don't have a job? <laughs> that scream, I saw it and it still scares me, holy crap. Crap! Jalian was like perfectly fine until she turned into an actual alien and was like, ah! She blew the mics out. Like you can hear the distortion in that scream. She messed up the boom mics. That's worse than Gabby Hanna's, what if I'm a monster? Brava to you, Jalian. Um, <laughs> sorry, button. Oh, the poor button's like, ow, oh, you hurt me. How could you? I kind of wonder what like the people in the back were hearing out after that rejection. Okay, you're on next. Oh, what do you mean I'm next? I'm not next, oh hell no. Oh hell no. I would be terrified to be up next. This person seems confident. Let's see what they got. I'm Elizabeth. Elizabeth, I'm Adrian. Nice Good to meet you. you. I always like to ask people this question. Would you choose waffles or pancakes? Oh, waffles for sure. This guy's based. I want to know, what are your guys' opinions? All right, pancakes or waffles? Me personally, I'm going waffles. But if you guys disagree, tell me in the comments. I want to know. My Nutella on them, like I get a big okay. bite of just labor. Yeah, <laughs> good. I yeah. feel like the romantic chemistry thing. like just isn't there for me. I feel that, for sure. Yeah. Cool, well thank you. Yeah, good meeting nice to you. Meet you. Is anyone gonna find love on this show? I'm, I'm actually curious. I'm, I'm distraught that people are so not finding love. It's really sad. What are you looking for right now, Elizabeth? Low key, a husband. I'm at a point in life where I really want to meet like someone special to spend life with. Hi. Hi. I'm Max. I'm Elizabeth. Nice to meet you, Elizabeth. Good to meet you. I love you. your hair. Thank you. It's beautiful. And your Thanks. earrings are also really great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, I got a question. <laughs> yeah, okay. What kind of porn do you two watch? Whoa, whoa, hey, yo, what is the bite doing here? This this was so wholesome. See, he walks in, he's like, hey, hi, how's it going? Oh my goodness, you are so beautiful. You look amazing, it's nice to meet you. And the button's like, what do you think her feet smell like? Oh boy, let's see if he can recover. Uh, whatever's on the front page, honestly, as long as it's That's like- That's lazy. I, I know, I'm just like, Get it done quick, I'm sorry. I don't really watch porn. I have like out of curiosity checked it out, but I, it's not really for me. I feel like my imagination is enough usually. What are your biggest insecurities? I think my wow. biggest insecurity is probably like my hair actually. Wait, can you turn around? Yeah, well, yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't have noticed My that, like, otherwise. Okay, they made it through the first round of buttons. That's good. They talked about their uh, their corn interests. And then they also talked about their, their insecurities. So, you know, my gut's saying this is going great. I think this this could yeah. work. <laughs> it I great. had it this short in, like, fourth grade. And then after that, I was like, you know. Fun fact about Max. He has sold video games to MTV and Nickelodeon. Like ones that you created? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's in cool. high school, I made like the Flash games that you know you play in like the libraries. And oh like my goodness, I already love him. This guy is cool. I bet I played some of his Flash games because I used to love Nickelodeon games. Do you play a lot of video games now? <sighs> it comes in waves. I think I tend to be like more active outside or like reading. Right now, I'm working on a science fiction book. I mean, Elizabeth wants to get married. She's ready to settle yeah. down. Kids. Well, okay. I don't want kids like now, now, but like in four or five years. Fair, fair. Yeah. So, wait, when are you looking to get married, though? I don't want to like rush anything. So, no wedding bells next year, then, unless it works. Probably not. <laughs> that would be a little insane. I've lit up red a few times. Nobody's pressing me. You two vibing? Yeah, I'm having fun. I like you. I think yeah. you're pretty cool. I'm gonna light up red one more time. If you don't press me, I'm gonna consider it a match. 
I think it's working. I think it's gonna work. My hands are up here. Oh, his hands are up. He's kicking back. <laughs> yes. We did it, boys. We won the button. The oh. Bell. There's gonna be wedding bells. <laughs> oh, wedding bells. Next Woo. year. I'm never wrong. It's amazing when uh, people fall in love and it works out. I was rooting for these two. Something felt right. I mean, I'm sorry for Astronaut Man. Sorry for Dominique. Sorry for all the others. Grill guy with the 270 uh, square foot apartment. I'm sorry it didn't work out for them. I feel like we lost a lot along the way, but, uh, but true love prevails. And that's all that matters. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace out and three thumbs up. See ya.